So I work in a restaurant and the other day a girl came in and ordered water to drink. Hi! I'll have a bottle of water with a glass on the side with three ice cubes, an organic lemon wedge, and a straw, please. Oh, I'm sorry. Unfortunately, we don't have bottled water, but I'd be happy to grab you some tap water. Ew! I'll have nothing then. Okay. So that got me thinking, because I've heard both. I've heard wa bottled water is better for you, and I've heard tap water is better for you. So I kind of wanted to do some research and figure it all out. And what I found out was, well, bottled water is kind of the devil. I had no idea how bad it was for us. Why didn't I have any idea? Because bottled water companies play with our minds. They brainwash us. They put streams and mountains on their bottles, and they label them as pure and safer and healthier, making us think that our tap water isn't that, when in fact tap water is way healthier than bottled water. We've been duped, people! Well, I sure feel stupid. And what about the vitamin water that's out there? That's gotta be healthy for you, right? It says vitamin water. Vitamins equals healthy. Turns out it's just really sugar water with a penny's worth of vitamins in there. Studies show that it should be actually compared more to pop than it should water. Coca-Cola is actually being sued for making unwarranted health claims because in their ad campaign they made it look like it was this big healthy product. Yeah. And you know what their defense was? And I quote, No consumer could reasonably be misled into thinking vitamin water is a healthy beverage. You called it vitamin water. And have you seen your campaigns? Here's another fact for you. Coca-Cola makes Dasani water, and Pepsi-Cola makes Aquafina, and they have both admitted that those bottled waters are nothing more than filtered tap water. So basically, they're going to our tap, stealing our water, bottling it up, and charging us $2 for it. That's awesome. 40% of all bottled water is actually just filtered tap water. Okay, so then I found out that bottled water was bad, but I wanted to know why obviously. I'm going to give you a really quick sweep on why bottled water is so bad for us. I'm not going to go on and on because honestly I have enough research to probably do a two hour video, but no one wants to watch that. And if you do, there's a great documentary that I watched called Tapped. I'm going to link it in the bottom bar at the end of the video, so make sure if you're interested in that, go check it out. It's awesome. The single water bottles that companies use, like this one, is made from PET. Now PET is in the same family as benzene. It's a chemical and it's highly linked to cancer. So the plastic that is holding the water that we're about to drink is made from this chemical and it, it can actually leach out into the water and then that's what we drink. 80% of all the PET that's made is found in Nestle, Coke, and Pepsi bottles. And the big five gallon jugs of water, that plastic is made from a chemical called BPA and that's known as one of the most toxic chemicals in the world. So like I said before last night, I watched this documentary called Tapped and I highly recommend it, I'm gonna link it. But in the, in the documentary, they did their own test. And they tested over a thousand bottles of water and they hired a toxologist because they didn't want it to be biased or anything. And the toxologist found tons of bacterial contaminants and chemicals in the water. He said, quote, you'd be horrified. Horrified. That's awesome. So then you're probably asking yourself why and how? I mean, how is this stuff going on? Aren't there regulations and laws and... Well, yeah, there are, but no one's regulating the water. I mean, these bottled water companies are doing tests, say, once a week, but they don't have to submit their reports to anyone because no one's reading them. In the United States, there's one person, one person from the FDA that's responsible for overlooking the whole bottled water industry. And it gets better. She has other responsibilities, too, to do with her job. So really, that leaves us with a half person. In Canada, the bottled water plants are only inspected about, mm, once every three years. That's fantastic. No one's checking up on these companies or plants, so what the hell do they care? They're too busy making their billions and billions of dollars. Nestle made $3.8 billion in 2008 alone just from bottled water. $3.8 billion from something that we can get for free from our tap and it's better. I don't know why I just said it like that, but I'm getting riled up. Okay, just gonna calm down a little bit. Tap water, on the other hand, is highly regulated. They have to test their waters numerous times a day, and unlike the bottled water companies, they have to submit their reports. And I was kind of curious the other day, so I went to see if I could find a report on Vancouver's water, and turns out I found it online, I could find that day's test results right online for my water that I'm drinking out of my tap. There's a really good quote in that documentary that really stuck with me, and I wrote it down because I wanted to make sure that I quoted her correctly. 
Who are you going to go with? Half of one person at the Food and Drug Association telling you that these billions of bottles of water are safe? Or are you going to go with municipalities who are testing the water numerous times a day? Who do you trust? Um, I I'm going to go with municipalities. <laughs> then there's the effect that these bottles of water are having on the environment. I mean, I'm not even a big tree hugger, but this is just ridiculous. They estimate by the year 2030, two thirds of the world is going to be lacking in clean drinking water. That's only 20 years away. Why? Because these companies are stealing our water. 38 billion bottles end up in our landfills every year. 38 billion, that's a lot of billions. And 714 million gallons of oil is used every year to make these bottles. That's enough to fuel 100,000 cars. Another quote I found, if we eliminate bottled water, we will be eliminating the biggest problem facing our environment. Moral of the story, let's get rid of bottled water. There are tons of municipalities now that are starting bottle bans, and I think everyone needs to get on this wagon. And seriously, I never felt this way until yesterday. Even though tap water is highly regulated, there's still going to be some people that have a problem trusting it. And I get it. There's been E. coli outbreaks in the past. There's been THM found in water. There's been traces of lead because of the pipes. And to be honest, I'm not a huge believer in the health standards these days. Even though through my research, I found out that Vancouver is known to have one of the best water systems in the world. Yay, Vancouver! Vancouver uses chlorine to disinfect the water just like tons of other places do. And even though they say the chlorine that they use is so diluted and would never harm people, I still don't quite trust it. In my opinion, the best thing that we can do is filter our own tap water if, it, if we have any kind of concerns. It's a hell of a lot cheaper than what they're charging us for bottled water. And it's not filtered poison. That's a bonus. I also found an article that explains how to choose a proper water filter, whether it be Brita or Akosana, which is the one I'm going to go with, but I will include that in the bottom bar. I will also include some other reading if you want to look into this further. And uh, yeah, that's my take on water. Hope it was helpful and I'll see you next time.